Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA here. And today we're going to bring you an exciting video, we think. This is going to be the top five cheap revolvers. So if you want a great revolver, but you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, this video might be for you. These are wheel guns, guys, that we have already thoroughly tested and reviewed. And that is why we can fully recommend them to you. So unlike other channels that just bring you a list of five and they don't own them at all and they don't test them, they don't shoot them, we actually test and review our guns and we only pick the ones that are proven. Coming in at number five right here is the Taurus 605. This has been a very popular revolver for us with the uh, standalone video being at 200,000 views. So there is a lot of interest in this Taurus revolver. As you can see, it still looks brand new. No rust problems, no issues. It is a five shot revolver. And it is in 357 Magnum. And shooting 357 out of this is not a problem. So if you're interested in that, this is one you can pick from. Two hands, 357 Magnum. Oh yeah. This snub nose revolver comes in at 24 ounces, and it can be found out there in the neighborhood of $300. All right, guys, let's talk about some specifics on this revolver here. As Brutus here mentioned, it is chambered in 357 Magnum, so that means you can also shoot 38 Special or 38 Special Plus P through this revolver. And, um, again, five shot. This revolver has two locking points on it, okay? So you have your crane right here. As you can see, there's a detent right here, and it locks into the frame of the revolver as seen right here. So it's like a damn less than uh, 715 in that way. And then it also has your standard traditional ball detent that locks into your thumb piece right here in the face of the uh, back plate here. So it is a fairly strong design here with those two locking points. You do have a slightly longer ejector rod compared to your standard Smith & Wesson J-frame. So it'll make it a little bit easier to get those spent shell casings out of the revolver. This revolver does have a very comfortable rubber uh, synthetic style grip here. You can see it is a two finger style, so it's more of a boot grip. Allows you to get a good grip on it though, to be able to partake in that double action trigger here. This revolver is double action, single action, so it's either long double action squeeze here, which is about eight and a half pounds or nine pounds. It's very consistent, very smooth though, or you can cock it back for a precision shot, which is just a hair trigger here. This is a very good option, you guys, and that's why I came in at number five on our list. So if you're on a budget, this is something you should definitely consider if you want that stopping power of the 357 Magnum caliber. And coming in at number four, the Ruger LCR 357 Magnum. So again, you can shoot 38, 38 Special, or 357 Magnum in this five shot Ruger revolver. This revolver has been out for a long time. It's very well proven. It is a very nice and very light revolver. Comparing it to number five on our list, which was the Taurus 605. This grip is a little more comfortable and this double action trigger only is a bit more smooth. So are you paying more for this revolver? Yes. Are you getting more? Yeah, I think so. So I think that's why this one came in a little bit above the Taurus. Young Beretta is a huge fan of these revolvers and we have shot quite a bit of 357 Magnum through these revolvers, so it's more than capable. Something to go with a five shot revolver, whether it's the 605 or the Ruger LCR right here, would be some of these speed loaders from Zeta 6. This one's made specifically for the Ruger LCR, as you can see right there, and I'll give you a look at them. They look like this. They feed into the rubber here 
and it holds them in place and exactly in the placement you need to feed into the revolver. I'll show you how that's done. Open up your revolver, trap the cylinder, put these in and peel from the top. Your revolver is now loaded. Those are snap caps, of course. So that's how easy and fast it is. You'll notice how quiet these are compared to your traditional speed loaders. So when people walk around sometimes with these in their pocket or your jacket pocket, you hear a little bit of that rattling. You won't hear that with this product right here. So just something for you guys to consider. These guys are a sponsor of our channel and we do appreciate that. But again, you have to have a good product for us to be willing to endorse it and show it to our subscribers. So there is the Zeta 6 product for the Ruger LCR 357 Magnum. Good job, Brett Senior, showing some product placement for the Zeta 6 product. Again, you guys, uh, this is our go-to now. It is a great product. They make numerous different products for your revolvers, speed strip style or a speed loader style in this fashion right here. Moving back to the revolver here, this is a very lightweight revolver. In comparison to the Taurus 605, this Ruger LCR chamber and 37 Magnum comes in at 17 ounces. This revolver has a stainless steel barrel, as you can see right there. The whole entire upper assembly here is Remington stainless steel, so you have a stainless steel here. cylinder that has a PVD finish. Feet. The lower section right here is a polymer material. You have a very nice Hogue Tamer grip back here. You can see it's marked with the Ruger logo right there. It's very pliable and plush back here, which really gives this revolver a great feel in the hand when you're shooting some uh, high performance 37 Magnum ammunition out of it. Has a two-finger grip right here. Really gets that great combat grip on this revolver. Really love partaking and shooting this gun. I uh, put a high vis, high visibility front sight on this also, but the trigger again is just money on this gun. Very smooth, very consistent. Not one single issue out of this Ruger LCR that we have right here, or uh, my first LCR in 37 Magnum. So I've had two of these. I let my first one go to a family member and I had to end up picking up a second one for myself. So here it is right, right. here. So this Magnum revolver gets a very high uh, recommendation okay. from us, especially if you want to shoot some 357 Magnum ammunition out of a very lightweight snub nose like this. You really can't beat the Ruger LCR. Real quick, I'll show you guys the lock up on this specific revolver here. Press the trigger. No movement at all. Really high quality stuff here coming out of Ruger with the LCR product. If you guys are interested in the LCR, I personally would get the 357 Magnum product. That way you have all the versatility that comes with this and you have the steel upper receiver piece compared to the aluminum alloy. Absolutely, I think the uh, Ruger LCR and 357 Magnum is better built than the lighter right, counterpart. The and also because of the added weight, it uh, helps soak up some of the recoil, even if you're just shooting 30 special plus P's. Yes, it does. And guys, this Ruger LCR 357 Magnum comes in right about $500. So you do pay more for this over the Taurus 605, but it is lighter weight, possibly better built, and does have a better trigger and grip. It hits. Good job. It's pretty good shooting from 15 yards away, man. It doesn't kick at all. I kind of expected for as small as it is that it might kick more than that. 357 Magnums. There we go, look at that group. Alright guys, and coming in at number 3, the Taurus model 627 Tracker. This is the only full size revolver on our list today here, and it does come in with a 7 shot cylinder. So that's right, you can put 7 rounds in this 357 Magnum revolver right here, and walk around with plenty of power. It is a 4 inch barrel on here, it does have a shroud. 
It's got some pretty nice sights to it. It does come with the lock. At least back when I bought this. This this revolver is like five or six years old, right, young brother? Yeah, about that. So I've had this one for quite a while. Haven't used it a whole lot. But what I really enjoyed about this particular tracker was again, not only does it carry more rounds if I wanted to carry it, but the trigger on it is just money. Butter smooth. Very consistent and just tremendous in my opinion. So I fell in love with the trigger right away and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna buy that. This revolver has a lot of things going for it. Not only is it a seven shot, but it also has a extremely high visibility front sight like Reta Singer mentioned. It also has a ported barrel. So you have a total of eight ports on the end of the barrel here to really keep that muzzle rise if you are firing this in a quick succession down. It's going to be very uh, well planted in the hand and it's not going to have a whole lot of recoil here if you're shooting some very high power 357 Magnum ammunition out of this Taurus tracker. Again, very good trigger. This gun also does have a pretty good lockup. You know, Taurus hasn't exactly been known for their super high quality lockup or, you know, some quality control issues in the past, but this gun is a very fine example of a Taurus product when made right. Let's take a closer look at this by opening it up and looking at the uh, lockup here. Again, same style lockup as the 605. You have the D10 here on the crane, which locks up into the frame here. And again, the secondary lockup against your uh, recoil shield in the back of the frame. So it locks up via the star extractor into your thumb piece. Have a good size ejector rod here, full size to eject this bench shell casings out of the revolver when you're done shooting to reload. Very nice. This full size duty revolver comes in at a weight of 35 ounces, which is a pretty good weight for a full size four inch revolver. And in closing guys, back when I purchased this revolver, it was going for just over $400. Right now, currently, I think it's closer to $500 five years later. I still think that that is a value for what you're getting here. A tremendous four inch full size revolver that has impeccable reliability. Just like all the revolvers here, we have tested them and they are proven. Coming in at number two, the Taurus 856 UL. This is my particular favorite, guys. I call it my red Taurus. I do really like this particular revolver. This revolver comes in at 16 ounces, and it has an aluminum alloy frame and a stainless steel cylinder and barrel. This revolver also does not have a lock on it from Taurus, which a lot of people like. So you guys, what makes the Taurus 856 special is that it is a six shot J-frame style pistol. So you have six shots here, just like your Colt, you know, detective special and stuff like that. So that is gonna make this a little bit different. This makes it more of a K-frame size revolver as far as in the cylinder anyway. So that actually allows you to use some Zeta 6 products like this speed strip right here. As you can see, it's called the K-clip. And um, this is a very impressive product. So you're gonna load uh, three at a time with this product right here. So you're gonna shove this in the cylinder like so. So you line up the three right there and then strip away. And then you have three rounds loaded if I didn't lose one right there. Or you can use your standard style speed loader, which Bretta Singer showed earlier. So that's really cool that you have those options with this revolver. And additionally, having the extra round is a plus, of course.
Just like the other Taurus is, this revolver has two locking points, again on the crane, and your star extractor locks into the thumb piece right here. You have a good size ejector rod on this Taurus. Taurus really has done a good job making sure that you have a longer ejector rod to get rid of those spent casings out of the revolver. You can see that your crane is stainless steel, as well as, of course, your uh, ejector rod. And again, just like the other Taurus, you have a rubber uh, boot style grip here. Pretty good, not bad. Uh, allows you to get a good combat grip on the revolver here. The trigger on this specific gun, a little bit more stacking compared to the 605, but that's just probably this specific revolver. But it's a good combat trigger, not bad at all. And again, you have the option to cock it back from double action to single action here to partake in a very light trigger pull. All right, guys, that finishes it up for the 856UL from Taurus. One of my favorite small revolvers. You can find this for between $275 and $300 online or at your local dealer. So if you like this color or one of the other colors, go ahead and check out the Taurus 856UL. All right, guys, and coming in at number one on the top five cheap revolvers is the Smith & Wesson Model 642 No-Lock J-Frame. This one also has no hammer on it. An ultra-light J-Frame revolver right here that is rated for up to 38 Special Plus P. It is a five-shot. So again, if you wanted to do a quick reload... and you'd be good to go. This particular J-Frame 642 has a pretty nice trigger on it. It is a little heavy. So because it is double action only, it's one of those guns you're gonna grab to protect yourself. You are gonna squeeze through a heavier trigger, proving that you do in fact want that pistol to go off. But it is a very consistent trigger pull, and the return spring on a Smith & Wesson is just unreal. It's amazing. No matter how fast I pull my finger away, that trigger shoots right out there. Yeah. And this revolver comes in at 14.6 nice. ounces, and it has currently a set of G10 Altamont grips on it, which are pretty fantastic. We've used a lot of Altamont grips on our revolvers and we've been very pleased. Another great American company, guys. Speaking of an American company, this Smith & Wesson comes with a lifetime guarantee from Smith & Wesson. This particular one had to go back for no reason whatsoever, but we've had others that we sent back, had warranty work, and then returned to us and been very pleased and happy with the whole process. So thanks Smith & Wesson for having a great warranty. One last thing I did want to cover is the lockup on this particular revolver, which you're gonna notice just a touch of movement and almost nothing. It's a very well-made Smith & Wesson revolver right here, guys. And I know a lot of you like these Smith & Wesson J-frames. I completely understand why. This particular J-frame has an MSRP of about $469, and prices online are somewhere around the 360 to 400 price range. So for that, you get a great quality Smith & Wesson revolver that comes in at number one on our list. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like this Smith & Wesson or any of the five revolvers that we've shown today on this list, just know that all of these revolvers are tested and proven and ready for you to use in a self-defense scenario. So don't shy away from any of them. If it's a Taurus or a Smith & Wesson or a LCR from Ruger, any of these are excellent revolvers for self-defense. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA, and support us on Patreon if you will. That's how we keep these reviews going. We'll see you guys on the next review.